Hello my dear students very good evening this is Sundar Rabindranath and here hey guys what's happening how is everybody probably my you know uh, uh, session for this year gets over with this this session is special because 2020 all right my live session the 2020 gets over with all of you so before i move on wishing all of you a wonderful wonderful 2021 guys right so uh, I'm sure 2020 must have been one of the toughest years for all of us to face, right? Is it not? But you know what? Uh, it has taught all of us very, very important lessons in life. Can you tell me what are those lessons, a few of you? Let's make it a little interactive, then I'll start. Sure, Danmi, I'll do. Hi Chester. Bhumika, no, no, no. Menti fast. We have just started. Lesson number one, according to me, these are lessons for me. What I take away is for 2020. Never play with nature. The more we misuse it, there are things which will not be in our control. So now we have so much advancement in science. Were we, were we able to find out a, a proper cure for Corona till now? No. So let's not play with the nature. Preserve it. Give that respect it deserves. Number two, money is always secondary. Be more compassionate and empathetic. Human beings are more important than anything else. All right. So we have to be very compassionate. So two. So third is. Uh, if you personally look at uh, what I have, hygiene, health and hygiene is the, it has to be given the most, all right, I would say utmost priority in life. If you have health, all other things will come. So these are the lessons that I took guys. So I hope you guys will also, you know, you would have learnt your own lessons. So with that note guys, let's move into the chapter, you know, the session. The topic is reported speech. It's very interesting, you know. Uh, let's let me start <clears throat> guys Vedanta Young Wonders you all know this channel is for 6 to 8 grades we have math, science, social and English grammar covered academically non-academically we have a series on space we have a series on general knowledge we have a series on how does it work we also have a series on do's and don'ts of mathematics so very quite a fascinating channel please do subscribe ok now moving on <clears throat> In case you want to learn from us personally, a lovely, lovely subscription has been created by Vedantu. The link for the subscription is there in the description box. Alright, so go to the link, look at the features, you know, amazing features are there. You have unlimited live classes with, uh, you know, fun learning. With a lot of quizzes, you become very good, you know, super good that you are able to compete across, you know, with students across the globe. And... Uh, Whenever you want to replay a session, you can do that. And you have you have an option to download the notes given by master teachers, any number of doubts solved inside sessions, periodical tests and assignments, 5000 plus topic wise, chapter wise, micro courses, modules. Okay. And yes, if you are preparing for competitive exam, you have a great opportunity because you have access to free crash courses as well. All these are taught by the best teachers of Vedantu. Cool. Right guys, so it is like, you know, if you ask me about the price, it is as low as 9 rupees for a 3 month subscription per class, of course. So per class, it's 9 rupees for a 3 month subscription. Visit the link, go through the details. Do not forget to make use of it. I am also giving you my coupon code SRPRO if you want to make use. Now coming to reported speech. Guys. Yeah, Nishit, I do remember you. You were saying, sir, I am not Kumar Shivam. All right, coming back. Guys, uh, assume that there is a communication between two, two people. So, you, between you and your friend, between me and my friend. All right, so both of us discuss about something. Now, all right, now if I have to report or if I have to speak about 
the communication we both had right i repeat once again listen very carefully me and my friend are having a conversation a communication all right and if i have to speak about what we discussed to another person to a third person there are two ways in which i can do it if someone has said if my friend has said something and i want to speak about what my friend told to me to someone else a third person there are two ways of telling it number one i can speak it out exactly at the way my friend spoke all right so say for example if my friend said uh, uh, hey you know what i have uh, yesterday i slept very very late at 1 pm i'm just giving an example so if i have to tell this to a third person i can say you know what uh, ragu said i slept only at 1 pm in the night right this is exactly the way he said or there can be another way where he said you know what ragu said he slept only at a, you know 7, uh, 1 pm in the night as if i am telling it so exactly the way that person has told it which is called direct speech and if i am speaking or saying that the you know from in my own words it is indirect speech or it is clear reported speech has two versions one is called direct speech and indirect speech all right so report you know the reporters right i'm sure all of you have seen uh, reporters what do they do they report a happening as if they are telling it correct correct now two people have communicated and if that come if some communication has be has to be reported to a third person you can either do it exactly the way the first person said or you can do it as if you are telling it all right as told by the first person so these are called direct and you know indirect speech which together put together classify or you know uh have comes under reported speech yeah parinita yeah correct so guys are you ready let me move on now typically reported speech number 1 see here someone said i am feeling ill right tom is saying tom is tom is saying i am feeling ill now there are two people who are talking hey where is tom you know what tom said just now tom told me i am feeling ill within quotes if i say that this is direct speech instead if i say you know what tom said he was feeling ill that is indirect speech because i am telling it from in my own you know terms exactly the way tom said it if i say it, it's direct speech if it if it is described by me in my own words it's indirect speech all right so generally reported speech is all about reporting a conversation that took place in the past i repeat reported speech is all about reporting a conversation that took place in the past to another person cool are you guys clear till this give me a yo i will move on come on come on come on exact words won't be used at wait if it is indirect speech if it is exact words it's called it comes under direct speech come on come on guys make it fast direct speech we will put inverted commas or quotations as you call it in direct speech you don't have anything i will speak about the rules now don't worry super awesome guys thank you so direct speech is something all right which is reported exactly in its original form as said by the original speaker i repeat a text or speech reported in its original form as spoken by the original speaker look at it Rita said with in course i will give you a pencil exactly the way she said those were those that sentence is mentioned inside the quotations this is called direct speech all right the exact original words of the person as spoken by him or her is given 
Clear, right? This part? All of you? Now, the same thing. If say, you know what Rita said, she would give me a pencil. Rita said, within quotes, I, would gi I will give you a pencil. Close the quotes. Instead, if you, I say, you know what Rita said, she would give me a pencil. Is indirect speech because I am not repeating exactly what she said. I am converting it in my own form. All right. Uh, and which is called as indirect speech. And indirect speech is typically what we call reported speech. The reason is what? Why it comes under reported speech? Because I am reporting it as, as a reporter. Reporter, what do we do? They see something. It could be a communication or any happening. They report it in their own words. That's why it's called reported speech. All right. Reported speech is referring to something as reported by a person. Cool. Guys, I hope all of you are clear what is direct and what is indirect. Give me a confirmation. I will move on. Cool. Awesome. Beta direct speeches. If someone is saying, Hey mother, my brother came to me and said, All right, I am traveling tomorrow. I will be traveling tomorrow. So if I say, My brother said, within quotes, I will be traveling tomorrow. Exactly the way he said. You put it. That's called direct speech. Directly the way he, if he has said, How will you say? That's exactly we are putting it in direct speech. Indirectly, if I speak about what he said, it's indirect speech. My brother said he would be traveling tomorrow or he will be traveling tomorrow. You getting it? That is indirect. Cool? All right. Someone was asking, sir, is it passive voice? Not necessary. No. So look at it, Sam, guys, I am going to ask you something. Sam said, my father has a grocery business in Kerala. Can you tell me which speech is this? Sam said, my father has a grocery business in Kerala. Which speech does this come under? Come on, come on, come on. Everyone is saying direct. Yes, it is. It comes under direct because exactly the way Sam has said, you have mentioned report. You know, you have mentioned it. But if I say, you know what Sam told his father has uh, a grocery business in Kerala, then that becomes because I am speaking in my own words about what Sam said. That is called I am reporting about it. That's called reported speech or indirect speech. Cool. So there are four main rules for di converting a direct speech into indirect speech. Remember all of the all of you, please remember this. Number one, point number one, no inverted comma in indirect. So direct speech, remember, see here, in, in inverted comma is there, right? My father has a grocery business in Kerala. It is given in inverted comma. But indirect speech, nothing will be there. So, if it is indirect speech, remove the inverted comma and of course you have to change it. Second, number two, the conjunction, if you are using words like generally the words like if, that, whether, all these are used after the reporting verb. Guys, what is a reporting verb? Can you tell me what is a reporting verb? Sam said, my father has a Business in Kerala, correct? Sam said, said is the reporting word here, which is the verb. Said is the verb. So Sam said, that is, you know, said is the reporting verb here. Are you clear? So now any report, you know, when the words like uh, if, that, whether are generally used after the reporting verb. Sam said that. Sam said that his father has a business in Kerala. That will come after the reporting verb which is said. Clear?
Yes, Akashet, awesome, correct. Now moving on the third one, the tense of the reporting verb will not change. Said, it's the past, it cannot change, it has to be the same. So the third rule is the tense of the reporting verb will not change. The fourth rule is reporting verb itself can change because said can become told. So the verb itself might change. All right, like said becomes told, asked becomes inquired, etc. Right. Say, Aditi asked me, what are you doing? Aditi inquired what I was doing. You understanding? So the verb itself might change. That is the fourth rule. My dear kids, are you clear with all the four rules from direct to indirect conversion? Come on, come on, give me a yo. Mujdaba, thank you. Wishing you an awesome 2021. Great guys, amazing. So typically, three things you have to remember from direct to indirect. The reporting clause. Reporting clause is Sam said. Sam said is reporting clause. Something that comes before that inverted comma, right? That is called reporting clause. And in that reporting clause, there will be something called reporting verb, which is said. So reporting verb generally is a part of the reporting clause. The third is the reported speech, right? Reported speech, which is nothing but within quotes, within quotations, you have that, right? Whatever you put, they come under <coughs> reported speech. So reporting clause will be there, within reporting clause, reporting verb will be there and the reporting, reported speech will be there. Then if you have to convert into indirect, that's different. But direct generally has these three things. Are you guys clear? So direct speech will have three things which is reporting clause which will also include a reporting verb and a reported speech. Guys, are you clear? If you are clear, you know what I want to jump into Mendy. So or remember this when the introductory verb is in direct speech is in present or future tense, the reporting verbs should also be in the present or future tense. Tense doesn't change. We already saw the rule, right? Look at the example. Stephen says, I enjoy going on long walks in the morning. Stephen says that he enjoys going on long walks in the morning. The tense does, is, does not change. Clear? Okay, guys, I'm going into a mentee now. Before that, from direct to indirect, how words change? All right, this is my house. Sundar said, this is my house. Sundar told that this was, or that was his house. You clear? This to that, the word these will become those in, you know, indirect. Here will become there. Alright. Sundar said, within course, come here. Alright. It can become Sundar. Alright. Sundar asked me to go there. Clear? So here can become there, now can become then, today can become that today. Today is a great day. Alright. Someone said today is a great day. Someone told that today was a great day. So today can become that today, this week can become that week, yesterday can become day before, previous day. So this is how the changes will be there from direct to indirect. Okay guys. Hi Devraj. 
Starting the mentee now. Be ready, all of you. Okay, coupon code once again, guys. Or the link for the subscription is there in the description box. Now I hope all of you are clear. What is reported speech? What is, uh, you know, direct and indirect speech, right? Now here it comes. I want all of you to open a website www.menti.com. M E N T I dot com quickly. Pariniti, it's very simple, beta. If someone saying or telling you something, quoting or that or reporting that exactly the way they said, without any change in words, whatever they said will come under inverted commas. You put it inside. All right. So if someone is uh, uh, coming and telling you. or asking you which class are you studying sundar sir asked within course which class are you studying exactly the way they asked you have to put it that's direct speech directly as if they are asking you have to quote it you have to report it but if you want to report it as if you are telling what they asked then it comes under indirect speech so guys when you go to menti.com it will ask you for a code the code for today's menti is look at this here it comes 132243 i repeat my dear kids 132243 132243 eight questions are there it's going to take come on come on come on i want you to be on your toes and join fast Lavish Bansal, come on, yar, it's okay. Kya yar, New Year Eve me, Eve pe bhi pa, pada rahe ho. It's okay, study yar, come on. Learn something new so that the entire year you will keep learning something, right? Come on, beta. Tomorrow you can, you guys, you guys can rejoice and relax. Yeah. Yogendra Kumar, reporting class. reporting clauses when the in direct speech anything which comes before that inverted commas he told or sam asked what is this the sam asked this is the reporting class asked this is the reporting verb all right anything that comes inside the comma you know the inverted quotes you call it as reported speech cool Guys, going to start the first question in another 15 seconds. Robo, hi. Who is this? Siri Naija, hi. Today will not be that day. Today will be that today. Sundar said, "Within quotes, today is a beautiful day." Sundar told that today, all right, uh, was a beautiful day. Clear? So that today, today will become that today. Yesterday is the day before. It becomes day before. Tomorrow becomes day after. Okay. Question number one on your screens, my dear kids. Now, Ronald said, "My brother has given me the chain." Question. Convert it into indirect. Ronald said that his brother had given me the chain. Ronan said Ma, that my brother had given him the chain. Ronan said his brother had given him the chain. His brother has given him the chain. Carefully answer. Don't hurry. Wrong. Wrong. See, given me is there in option A. 
how can me will be there? Me will become him, right? Ronald said that his brother had given him the chain. And so guys, now it's going to be interesting. So, Opi, Shan, Nishet, Navar, Janshul and Ayush, top 5. Tayong, Abhinav, Hiki, Mitrava and Love Side. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, here it comes. Question number 2. Be ready, convert it. Ready? Johnson said to Jacob, I am going to Germany tomorrow. Jansom told Jacob that he is going to Germany the next day. Johnson told Jacob that he was going to Germany tomorrow. Johnson told Jacob that he was going to Germany the next day. Johnson told Jacob that he had been going to Germany the next day. Simple one this is actually. Don't complicate it at all. Guys, is becomes was, right? So it cannot, is cannot come. Johnson told that he was going to Germany the next day. So now, Navaj, yeah, at the top. Followed by Tayong, Abhinav, Adishri and Bhavya, top 5. Mitrava, Kirti, Ayush, Nancy and Siddharth, 6 to 10. Question number 3 on your screens. My wife said to me, you may get an income from this. My wife told me that he, he may get an income from that. My wife told me that he might get an income from that. My wife told me that I may get, got an income from that. My wife told me that I might get an income from that. Careful, careful, careful. It's very simple actually. Though it appears like too, too texty and all. Only one option is proper. Guys, how many of you chose option D? D, 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 D. Mm, not bad, not bad. Most of you. Very nice. Look at it. My wife said to me, you may get an income from this. My wife told me that I, you becomes I, right? I might get an income from that. This becomes that. So the more you practice, you guys will get this. And this is super important, guys, to convert a speech as if it is reported by you. Direct to indirect. So now looks like Adi Shri is at the top, followed by Abhinav, Mitrava, Nancy and Ayush. Top 5. Anshika, Sidhu, Gaurav, Navaj and Teyum. Question number 4 on your screens now. Thank you, Manoj. That was very consoling. He said, you must go there. He said that he must go there. He said that I must go there. He said that I had to go there. He said that you had to go there. Simple guys, simple, simple. Come on, don't miss this. There are a lot of you who are choosing option B. So, option B is the right answer. Is it so? Wow, 96 of you. Well, look at that. Look at that. Must becomes had to. So, he said that I had to go there. Alright. So, must generally is used in direct. Tricky, 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 tricky. Looks like Siddharth might go to the top or Bhavya. Adishri is still at the top. Wow, Adishri, Abhinav, Ayut Goel, hi beta, hi. Abhinav, Bhavya, Siddharth and Mitrava, top 5. Nancy, Ayush, Anshika, Siddhu and Naitik. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, I think I spoke about that subscription already. 
just a quick reminder for all of you it has unlimited replays unlimited live sessions unlimited doubt solving periodical test assignments 5000 plus micro courses per class only 9 rupees the link is there in the description box and the coupon code is srpro make use of it guys here it comes question number 5 three more to go Namit said to his friend I have informed you many times Namit told his friend that he has informed him many times Namit told his friend that I had informed him many times Namit told his friend that he had informed him many times Namit told his friend that I had informed him many times The right answer good all right namit told his said to become told his friend he had informed him many times have becomes had looks like adishri is still at the top wow good lead adishri abhinav Sid, mitrava siddhartha and nancy top 5 anshika naitik navaj siddhu and ayush 6789 10 My dear kids, question number six. Be ready, all of you. Here it comes. He said, "They will come today." He said that they will come today. He said that they would be come that day. He said that they would come today. He said that they will come that day, which is right. good super he said that they would come that day today becomes that day remember i was showing the mandatory conversions right direct to indirect adi shri wow adi shri at the top followed by abhinav mitrava siddhartha and nancy top 5 naitik navaj anshika ayush and siddhu 6 7 8 9 10 guys question number 7 just one more to go after this on your screens Rohit is super happy. Yay! Matthew said plants depend on sunlight for growth. Matthew said that plants depend on sunlight for growth. Matthew said that plants depended on sunlight for growth. You have to be very careful. I told spoke about one rule. Please remember that rule. Let's see what you what you guys choose. Guys, verb tense will not change. Be careful. Depend become dependent. You getting it? Verb tense should never change. That's why option B is wrong. So now, oh no, Adishri went down. Looks like it. Abhinav is at the top, followed by Mitrava, Nancy, Ayush, and Adishri. Top five. What about Anshika, Danya, Krithika, and Gaurav? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, are you ready for the final one? Decide or here it comes. And the question is: Martin said, "I shall go there tomorrow." Martin said, "I shall go there tomorrow." Martin said that he should go there the next day. Martin said that he would go there the next day. Martin said that he would go there tomorrow. Martin said that he should go there tomorrow. So most of you have chosen option A, option B also many of you have chosen good. Guys, I shall go there shall all right. <coughs> he said that he would go there the next day. Tomorrow becomes the next day. Abhinav Oh no 
I think Adi Sri is back at the top guys, looks like it. Adi Sri winning the quest today, lovely. Many many congratulations Adi Sri, keep it up. Abhinav Metrava. <coughs> Alright, who else is there? Aharnika Danya, top 5. Siddharth, Nancy, Srinik, Navaj and Ayush. 6 to 10. Guys, all of you, great job done. Congratulations to you. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Now you are very clear what is direct and what is indirect. Hit the like button. Let me know you like the session, guys. <coughs> Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. My dear kids, that's it from me for 2020. We will meet on 2021 again. Yes, wishing all of you an amazing, blessed, happy, healthy 2021. Thank you so much, guys. I would meet you on what? Day after, Saturday. Until then, this is myself, Sundar Abhindranathan, signing off, kids. Take care. Bye-bye.